This time in the Quick Speed Shop, I'm back working on my boogie van. I'm also doing some 37 Ford action in the video. But so far, we're going to add some louvers to the windows, add a ladder, do some customizing on the back of this thing. So uh, let's get into boogie van action. Bam, starting right now. All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. I'm working on a boogie van tonight, and uh, it's finally warm enough out where I can put my rear window louvers on. It's been up. It's going to be up in the 80s. Right now it's about 70 degrees out, and you need the temperature to be uh, elevated to get the stuff to stick good. So we're going to go ahead and stick them on tonight. I went, and I'm starting to clean up the windows here. There's a specific process you got to use. you got to clean the water, the window with uh, soap and water, and then dry it, and then use some uh, uh, rubbing alcohol, or uh, I got some isopropyl alcohol to clean the contact areas, make sure it's super clean. Um, I used a little bit of Windex and got the grunge off with a towel, so now I'm going to use some soapy water and uh, just clean these up. They're pretty clean, but you can still see a little bit of Windex residue on there. So I'm going to clean up the windows good, and then we'll start putting the, the uh, louvers on. Soapy water. After I get the window dry here, I'm going to use some alcohol and I clean the window where the pads are going to attach up here in the corners. We'll use the alcohol there to dry to do that. Just got to get this completely dry now. Right, these are our window louvers here. They're like an ABS plastic and how they attach I probably should say where I got them from. I got them from, uh, oh, what is this? Yeah, Astra, Astra Optum, right there. These are Astra window covers. And they attach with a, like a Velcro system where you get these really strong pieces of Velcro with adhesive on both sides. And the instructions say they snap together here and then you stick two on the top horizontally and two on the bottom vertically and then they stick onto the glass so I've got the one visor here or a shade I should say and I've got some uh, alcohol here I'm going to rub down the spots where we're going to stick them on to the to the window here with a rag and some alcohol you don't want to put like fingerprints or anything on it this alcohol will clean it up I'm just going to take this and uh, clean an area here on the, on the top and the bottom, get it cleaned up nice. Like that. We'll let this dry. They'll give us a good surface for the adhesive strip, strip to stick to. Okay, like the instructions say, I take the adhesive strips and I can pull one side off. Don't want to touch the touch the adhesive strip. It's got this white adhesive strip on it here. And I'm going to place one uh, horizontally. And then one vertically on each top and bottom surface here. And actually, it's too late. And I can tell you, you're going to want to land it right where you want to land it the first time because it's super strong adhesive. I wish I'd put that one just a little higher. I'm going to learn from my, my mistake and put this one just a little bit higher. Actually, no. I've got the trim on the window. I should have checked this out. What am I thinking? I should have looked at this. i got to hold up the van and make sure I got it in the right spot. Okay, I did it the right way. I was correct. I've got this chrome trim around the window, so I want to be away from that a little bit. So I'm putting the pieces of adhesive down here a little bit. Just gonna press them on good here. 
And then the reason they use the Velcro is so you, you can peel off these these uh, visors, or not visors, I keep calling them visors, peel off the shades if you gotta clean the windows or whatever. So these ones here on the bottom, they go vertically. Now we got our tape installed on the louver. I gotta clean the window with uh, some of the alcohol. I'll clean that real fast, then we'll, Kurt, we'll hear this thing on there and I've got some spring-loaded clamps to clamp it on and hold the pressure for about 24 hours. Obviously not drive the van and hold it on Tomorrow it's going to be like 85 degrees out, so I'll really let the adhesive bake in there good and stick these things on permanently. Okay, I've cleaned the window with the alcohol. The pads are going to go. And uh, I'm going to pull the paper off the top first, I think. Get it lined up on the top where it's going. Actually, I'm going to hold the bottom here like this. Nerve-wracking. Pull the paper off the bottom adhesive. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Now, I've got my flip out windows here. Got these spring loaded clamps like. Oh. Hold, hold on one second. Now I've got these spring loaded clamps. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, apply them to the window to help hold hold pressure on the adhesive. Like so. I'll stick two, get two up here in the top if I can, and this will just help hold pressure on in the sun tomorrow. Here we go with the second one. Here we go. Here, bam, there we go. Got the louvers stuck on here. And I'll leave these clamps on for 24 hours. Like I said, it's going to be about 85 degrees tomorrow. So this thing will really bake in the sun and get warm. And this adhesive, adhesive will really stick on there. And uh, these things shouldn't want to blow off. They'll be installed to follow the directions pretty much how it said. So uh, there we go with that. And now it's getting dark and getting late. I had to take a phone call. So now uh, we're on the garage door down and work on something else here. And uh, we'll see how these work out. But I think it's going to look good. Well, it's the next night. 
It's been 24 hours. It was like 85 degrees today, so I'm going to assume that the, uh, the adhesive is stuck on here really well. Oh yeah. So we can pull our little clamp action off here. Take a look. You also notice I added a CB antenna, four foot whip antenna over here. Um, I mounted it to the hinge. It's got the spring. I made a little loop here, a stainless steel uh, eyelet, and a little piece of thing so the thing can't whip around and bash into the van. But I've got my, uh, it's actually uh, like about 50 inch antenna. I'm going to be putting the, the uh, cord on it. It's going to come down and go up onto the floor and go into the van that way. So I will have a functional CB radio so I can get on there and uh, talk to all the uh, the folks on the uh, the CB. All right, that's awesome. Oh yeah, they're stuck on there. Like that. That's closed down. Oh, we got them opened up. That's awesome. That's full on boogie van action right there. I mean, you get the spare, I'll throw the spare back up on here. Where is it? Here it is. Oop. Wish my letters and my tires matched up better to the. Uh... My Goodyear is off center a little bit. That's all right. Ooh, it looks awesome. I like it. I like it. Hit yourself in the face with the four-way. Now the only question is, are we done? Or should I put more bling on the back of this thing? I don't know. It seems like with vans, the, you can never have too much crap bolted on them. Remember if you watched uh, a few months ago, I had some other stuff to put on here. Like a ladder. Let me get that. We'll see how that looks. I don't know. Is it too much? When I first, before I had the louvers on and before I had the spare like permanently mounted, I thought it was going to be too much, too much action. But... Like I said, with vans, you can't bolt too much crap on them. And it's kind of like a Bomba, like a 39 Chevy. They, they want all the accessories. And I bought the ladder. Man, I'm really, I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted to drill some more holes, mount this thing up. I think it needs as much crap on the back as possible. Now that I got the spare up on here, the ladder kind of balances out. And uh, it really blings out the back of my van. I'm going to think for a minute on this, and then we'll come back and we'll make a decision. Well, I went and did it. I had to finish up under the lights here because it got dark, and I had to generally, I didn't film it, but I had a fiasco. I tried to use some nut inserts to mount the bottom of the ladder, and I broke my nut insert tool halfway through the process and jammed up all the inserts and had to drill them out, and now I've got some uh, stainless quarter 20s holding the ladder on, but man, got it mounted up there. It's good now. We're accessorized all out here in the back of the van. Um, I think that's about it for the outside of the van for now, unless I find some more wing dings and stuff to put on it. Maybe a wing up on the roof, we'll see. But uh, I wasn't sold on the ladder before when I tried it out when I bought it a few months ago and hung it on here. But I think with all the other junk bolted on here, I needed to have it on there. So it's on the back. And uh, yeah, there we go. So... The the van here I'm taking to the to the Ford Nationals at Carlisle the first weekend in June I'll be there Friday and Saturday so if you see the van and you see me dressed like this I'll be there I'm hoping to maybe get some fabrication done before that but I've got like two weeks to go and I'm super busy at work every day I've been working overtime and stuff so I don't know how much the interior I'm gonna get done for the trip my friend Ted and I are going go down and we're gonna hang out in the van it at least have the seats in it. And uh, we'll be able to cruise down and hang out. So that's what I've been working on this a little bit now. The weather's nice. I can work on it outside and work on my uh, 37 Ford inside. Speaking of that, let's go do one thing on that. I finally got my seals for my brake drums. So uh, let's switch over to the 37 Ford and we'll put the seals in. Here, last time in my last video on my Ford, I was doing a bunch of work, including putting uh, new seals in my rear brake drums here. And I had some seals and they were the wrong ones, but I've ordered the right ones now. They actually will fit in here so I'm just going to go ahead and install these right quick for the end of the video. Got the, uh, the wheel bearings here for the drum. They go in the drum. They're a straight wheel bearing. Just kind of go plop like that down in there. And then the seal drives in and then there's a retainer clip that goes in like a little groove here. So let's uh, let's get these installed.
All right, the seal has an open section here on the back here, this little lip that goes on the inside. Because the way the rubber is, you slip it in here on the axle stub shaft and the housing. So I got my seal driver here. Let's see if I can coax this thing down in here. Oh yeah. So that goes in real. I got to get a smaller one to push on it, but it goes down and then there's a retainer ring to hold it. There you go. that's tapped in there. There's these little re retainer uh, grooves. Pieces. It's like that little snap ring. Bam! Look at that! Installed! So I'm going to finish up by putting this other seal in this drum and then these things will be ready to put on the car. Uh, real close to getting the thing fired up. Hopefully in the next couple of videos all I've really got to do is like check all the fluids. Um, I'm going to build an exhaust system or at least get head pipes off the engine back under the car and then uh, run a fuel line and the engine should be ready to, to try to start it. Um, I can have the wheels on a car, I can set the car down at that point and like move it around and get real excited to hear what it sounds like. Hopefully everything works good and it went together good and it's going to be a fun car to drive this summer. Never had a flathead car on the road so I'm looking forward to that. The thing should be super cool, a 40s tail dragger setup so uh, get excited of that. Also excited about the van getting that going. I've been driving it some um, with the thermostat issue I had stopped driving it this week but I'm going to fix that and I've already put mosquitoes in here. Look out! I've already put probably 200 miles on it. Seems to be working good. The big trip's going to be going down to Carlisle, Pennsylvania for the Ford Nationals first weekend in June. So if you're down there and see the van or see me, come by and say hi. And uh, that'd be awesome. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to finish this out and then uh, we'll be on to something else in the next video. So we'll see you then. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home.